guys, this is Leonardo. Today we're going to learn how to debug and profile code in MATLAB. The objective of debugging is to help you to find bugs in your software. Uh, in MATLAB, you can add breakpoints. Breakpoints are, are features that are going to stop your program when the CPU reach one, one line of code. And then from that line, you can step into or step over your program to verify how the how the flow of the of the program is going. Uh, when you are in the bug mode, you can inspect variable values and you can export those values, those the state of this function inside the workspace. Uh, now about profiling. Profiling is a uh, is a tool that MATLAB allows you to show how the how the function is evolving with time. It it helps you to to know how to, to improve the performance of your function by giving you a list of uh, what the function is doing, the sub-function calls, the number of times that, is the, that an inner function has been called, and this time. In the future, we're also going to see that uh, the, the profiling in other platforms can also help to decide which part will go to the hardware or which part will go to run the software. But this is a more advanced topic that we're going to see more in the future. Okay? Hope you guys like it. Uh, I'm going to switch now for, the, for our in-lab session. And hope you guys like it and ciao ciao. Okay guys, just to start with a quick tip. We're going to show how to plot a signal without actually needing to use the common plot. You just go and press in the tab plots, click on your signal and uh, then click in the uh, plot icon and then you can see the, the plot as usual. Uh, if you take a look, the plot command is also echoed in the, works, in the common window. So it's a nice tip to sometimes you just want to quickly see how, to, how a signal is evolving and stuff like this. Okay? Okay, now let's go to, down to the business. Here we just open a function, okay? And we are going to mark uh, a specific line to start our debug. So at the line 5 we mark to debug and then we execute our function. Then during execution the CPU will stop and when she reach the line 5 and uh, up to this point we can say that we are in the debug mode. In debug mode all the variables used by your function or program is going to appear in the workspace which is really useful because you can see what the program is doing and which values the, it's calculating and putting into your variables. Okay? Another modality of breakpoint or debug methods is that you can also add a condition. I mean, you can say CPU, while you are executing this program, if certain condition become true, in this case if curve out bigger than 0 0.5, stop the program and enter in debug mode. So let's execute the function, and voila, that's it. And uh, you see, when curve all is bigger than 0 0.5, the program is stopped. Well, up to now, we are just uh, doing a step out in the code. We can also do a step in, which means we are going to go inside the function that is being called. And uh, this is quite useful sometimes because you are uh, debugging a function, and this function calls something else, and this something else you want to debug as well. So that's, you, that's why I use the step in. Okay, now let's see another important point. We are going to put a debug at this point, okay, at, nine, at line 70, and I'm going to show to you that when you are in debug mode, all MATLAB features is going to be available for you. For instance, uh, at this point, we're just plotting the variable pools and we just to see what, what we have inside. Okay, this is a quite nice capability and can help a lot to debug your program. Now, we also want to plot, for instance, the result of an FFT function. 
This is going to be uh, one of the subjects, one of the projects that we're going to do later. We're going to create a DTMF decoder. So here we just analyze and see, for instance, by the way, this is the digit one. Have, uh, for instance, two peaks in certain frequency spectrum. Okay, now let's try to answer a different question. If the question is, in which points of my program I'm losing more time? This we answer with the feature called profile. Okay, uh, the profile will create a list of all the steps that your program is doing and showing how many times, for instance, a function has been called and how much time we spend doing it. For instance, in this case, we know that our function, we lose the point that we lose more time is when we call find peaks. In this case, we are calling this function 10 times and uh, we're losing 0 0.005 seconds. Okay, and uh, this is a very important tool because it is go it's going to show you where you should start losing time and try to optimize your code. Well, that's it guys. Let's finish the day and I uh, hope you guys like it. See you in the next video.